Here's a picture of the dimensions of the boards and dimensions of the cross. Now I'm just trimming down the edges of the boards so they fit together tighter. Here I'm labeling all the boards um, one through five I think I numbered them. That way I don't forget the way I have them laying on the table there. And then I'm sanding them down just a little bit to smooth them out. Uh, I left them a little bit rough, I kind of wanted to look that way. I still had to stain one of my boards so I'm putting a little stain on there and staining the ends. Now I'm laying my cross down there to see exactly where I want to put that and putting some marks on the boards with a pencil. You'll see why later. Now I'm putting little marks on the wood where I want to drill my pocket holes. And that's why I laid that cross out so I didn't put my pocket holes right where the cross was at. If you're liking this video so far, hit that subscribe button down there or give me a thumbs up. Now I'm darkening up my lines on my cross so I can cut that out on my bandsaw.
Now I'm nailing on some strips of plywood and I think I made them about an inch wide and I stained the sides black or you could just paint the sides black just so it sticks out from the wall a little bit. If you look closely I cut a notch in the center of that plywood so you, that'll help you hang it on the wall also. Now I'm stapling some lights in there just to make it look a little more fancy. I didn't know these lights were going to blink though, so I think I'm going to try to get some other lights that don't blink. Put in the comments if you like the blinking lights or you think I should change it out and put some solid lights in. it. I hope you enjoyed watching that. If you like the cross that I built, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks.